Okay. Welcome to the program. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland Radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, anchored by me, Mazemarab Chumachuku, the fearless IPOB evangelist. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Anenri. Anenri is a local government in Ojiriba province of Biafra land. I'm a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. I'm the kind of leader. And he's still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement. Thank you. Good afternoon from here, Biafra land. <clears throat> Today's date is the Sunday, September 29, 2024. And the time now here is 3.40 p.m. We are broadcasting live. This is a live broadcast right from the studio. Thank you. You are highly welcome. Let us play. Let us play this very um what do I call it? No, not this one. Let me check, please. Let me check. I'm coming. The where is the this thing now? The whole pose of them are in security. That is what is called. It is called insecurity. <clears throat> Let me go there and check. I got that video here. Why can't I see it? Let me follow here, please. I cannot see the video. What is happening? Huh? What is happening here? What is happening? The video of the distance. Let me... Where, where is this video? I saw it now, now. Huh? What is the problem? Share the program very widely. We are coming. They are. They have told us that there is there is insecurity in Imo State. But you begin to ask yourself, what actually gave them the grant? What actually gave them the confidence to come to Imo State and say that they are bringing their um, internal displaced persons? into Imo. That is one of the things you should ask yourself. What actually led them to that? Are you telling me that there is original insecurity in Imo and the Nigerian government prefer Imo state to bring their IDP camp from the north to Imo state? Do you understand? So, there is no insecurity. This thing is part of their plan. Let My us listen. And internally displaced persons has concluded plans for the training of refugees, migrants, and internally displaced persons on skills acquisition. Federal Commissioner Tijani Ahmed stated this during an inspection of facilities for the training at Nso in Ehimembano Council area. Senior reporter Prince Suba has details and will return with business news. According to UN Refugee Agency, Nigeria is home for over 85,000 refugees and asylum seekers. About 3.3 million people are living in internally displaced camps as a result of conflict and violence at the end of 2023. The country is still rated 
among the 10 countries with the largest number of IDPs globally. Worried by this increasing trend, the federal government is making efforts to begin training of these vulnerable people in acquiring skills to reduce unemployment. The National Commissioner for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, and his team are here on an inspection of this facility located inside the National Open University of Nigeria Study Center at Enso, a member of a local government area of Imo State. We in the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, we have what we call arrangement for the preparation of our concerned people in order to provide for them training of different uh, trades. Here we are today. Federal Commissioner with his team is satisfied with the facilities as they believe the training will add value mm. to the vulnerable persons, lifting them out of poverty. We have gone around the building. It is okay for our, for our use. It is okay for what we intend to do. Because in the buildings, you can have uh, a lot of uh, laboratories where not only the people of concern, including the students around this area, will use, will, will make use of it. More than 75% of our population is under 30 years. So majority, that means more than 75% of our displaced persons, refugees, more than 75% of them, they are also under 30 years. So the thing is, the federal commissioner is saying, his headache is to make sure that those people are trained. As Nigeria continues to grapple with economic challenges, such skills acquisition, if harnessed, will help to take care of such vulnerable individuals in the country. Prince Bar, TVC News, Himen Bano. Are you understanding now? We are not against um, taking eternally displaced persons to their Nigeria, any part of their Nigeria, but we are against them bringing it to Diafra land. These are Fulanese, the same Northern people that say that we have, our land is dot, our land is dot, our, they, that is, our land, nothing good for our land to come from federal government. The only thing good for our land is bring full and herdsmen, demand for land, for cattle rearing, then send um, internal displaced persons from the north. The same people that said that is insecurity in the east, the same people that want to use media to change the face of our region to change the face of our land, to change the statue of our land. The same people that fear insecurity are the same people telling you that they are shifting internally displaced persons to the same place they say there is insecurity. Ask yourself, who is the governor of Himo State? Where they want to bring this thing? Who is the man bringing this thing? Who puts a demand? And ask yourself, what good have come from who puts a demand? Then let us go and check his bag first. Now look at it. Look at the man who want to bring something to you in him. You know, one thing is when something is coming, if they say it is development, if they say it is for this, you ask them who is bringing that thing? Nigerian government under who? Under Ozodema. Ask yourself what good have come from Ozodema? Now look at the news. Ozodema absorbs emo, uh, sorry, a bubago of killings. In Imo, then look at the personal. Then let us read the law. Let read the below. Let me bring it up a little. Okay. The governor said criminality in Imo state has political undertone, and that those. Criticizing Ebubago are then let me send you the news. And you just get the the headline, then let us go there. I want to connect something here. I want to connect something. 
Let us see what Uzarema have given to the people. Let us see. Now read here. Read from here. Governor Uzarema, while the, 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 the defending Ibubabu said, members of the security outfit do not carry arms. Are you listening to Hope Uzarema? Who is bringing terrorists into your land and they call it internally displaced person, right? They call it internally displaced person, terrorists. They show you women with terrorists. They want to bring them officially into Imo State. Then read from the foundation. Get the point. Ask yourself, if this governor of Imo State can open his mouth and tell the people that Ibubago does not carry gun, then what will he say when these terrorists operate from a human banner and circulate all into every part of Imo State? I want to know what they want to create now is a point of their movement, official point, government point. Remember that that very community will be overrun by the army. It is a way to create a place where they will be harboring criminals. That the IDP camp automatically is a terrorist camp. Automatically. People that denied us good things. People that denied us international presence. People that denied us industries. People that even destroy the industries in Igbo land. They are the people bringing something to you. The same people that said your land is a, a, a dot. The same people that every day news will come from Imo State. That there is insecurity. Insecurity this, insecurity that. Let me just say, let me just say, all those things that have been tagging IPOB, had it been IPOB is carrying gun, ask yourself, will they have the mind to tell you that they are bringing terrorists into our land? Officially with the name of Imo. Let us finish this place. Because if we have gone, if that thing you are hearing on news is true, when you cannot see them telling you they are bringing refugees into our land. They cannot have the confidence. But because that this is artificial insecurity, this is part of the agenda. Why Hope Zarema and the Nigerian government is sponsoring insecurity? This is why of the one of the reasons Nigerian government uh, overlooked the protests of the people of Imo against Ebubago. At the time, they have come and tell you they are bringing internally displaced person. But the same Imo state people complain about the brutality of Ebubago. Federal government did not respond. What good have come from Hope Osadema? Let us read. Governor Osadema, while defending Ebubago, said members of the security outfit do not carry arms, let alone carry out sophisticated, uh, sophisticated attacks. Then ask yourself, does Ebubago carry gun? Yes. Then why do governors say they don't carry gun? We are asking. Then do you think that he will also defend you when these terrorists will start operating in Imo to attack Imo? Do you understand? Connect this thing with the insecurity you are hearing in Imo. If there is insecurity in Imo, ask yourself, will they have the, uh, the impetus to be telling you that they want to bring I, uh, criminals, terrorists, in the name of IDP camp, into our land, into Imo State, into a human banner, where the army came and raised down a, a market, a, one market in a human banner, Omar al or Omar, Omar, that is Omar al there. A human banner. They are now, so the, what Nigerian army do is to come and kill the community, create ground, then they will bring terrorists. So that attempt, that very attack in a human banner, claiming that the army was attacked, though the army was attacked anyway, right? Then they took their anger inside the market and destroyed burned down people's properties. So it was an attempt to create chance to bring terrorists in the name of IDP camp. So there is no place that can enter the northerners that are making mouth, telling us we are nothing. The same people that are treating us in their land. So you cannot take the IDP, the internally displaced person, to any part of the north. So our land can now contain northerners that have been displaced. Not even our land, the Imo state, where the Nigerian army, Nigerian police used to tell you, army couple killed, army, army, army officer killed in Imo. So is that true? If that is true, then 
Why do they have the ground to tell you they are bringing IDP camp into Imo? If that thing is true, if that is not lie, if that is not political artificial insecurity, tell yourself, if such thing is happening, how will they tell you they are moving the northerners into the east? I ask you. Read now. Ibubago has no sophisticated like the kind of rifles that the bandits are carrying. All along, Ibubago are not armed. Are you getting it? Somebody that wants to bring the IDP come for you. Look at what he said. You witness Ibubago. You are victim of Ibubago. You see how Ibubago operates. You protested the Bubago against the Bubago, but look at what the governor is saying that they don't carry gun. The same thing he would say when these terrorists will start killing people of, from in Imo. He would tell you, no, these are students. They came to learn, but these are terrorists. If this federal government can be dragging our waterways, dragging our uh, bushes, why is it that they are still trying to drag our communities? You drag our bushes. Our forest, our farmland, with your full and enhancement terrorists, you are dragging our water um, ways, trying to use your um, federal might. This time around, you are using your um, your Supreme Court governor, Hope Osadema, to establish a terrorist point of movement, a terrorist camp. IDP camp is good; it is allowed in the world. But uh, who is the, the internally displaced person? Who are they? From where? These are terrorists. From where? The same government that told us that we should allow our, give our land to terrorists. They call, they say they are foreigners. These people are foreigners. They are, uh, they are Catalanas. Your land or your blood. You know? The same government that compromised to terrorists. The same government is asking for our land. The same government is sending terrorists to our land. But by all means, they want to push terrorists into our land officially. They are dragging Enugu state using army. They are dragging people's land using army and the governor. Today now, they are in Empano dragging land using internally displaced person in these guys. It is wrong for the Fulani, for the Northern Nigeria and Nigerian government to drag their eternally displaced person and bring them to Imo. It is they cannot they cannot be since they cannot sincerely do it. There must be ulterior motive. What they want to do is to bring terrorists inside our into our land. It is a terrorist point of movement. Which you not want to be uh, uh, they want to learn. They want to put them into scales. People that have highest number of beggars in the world. Nigerian government, not that Nigeria have ruled Nigeria for 46 years. Let me remove this one so that they will be seeing me. Okay. So, what they are bringing to our land is destruction. They never allowed it if the development our land. They never allowed development in our land. So, who puts on them? The only payback, the only respond they can respond with federal government after a Gubago might have massacred the people of Imo State is to bring another terrorist in the name of display, eternally displaced person. But they have been telling the world that there is insecurity, especially in Imo. So where is the insecurity? What gave them the grant? Not that have ruled Nigeria for 46 years. They cannot provide a place for themselves. But they used to tell us that we can never rule. Igbo will never rule. Not will be ruling. What is the gain of that ruling? What is the gain of that ruling? You rule Nigeria for 46 years out of 64 years. You have, you, your land is overrun by terrorists. You, you, are, you have highest number of beggars. You have highest number of, you have poverty overrun the north. Deadly diseases. Terrorists. Bad government. So you build a house, build a road. Is that a government? You be, is it dead people that will be living and enjoying the road? 
The whole north, no food, but they claim they are, they, are, they are farmers. People are dying of hunger. Imagine, S generals are from the north, but they cannot stop insecurity. So, why are they trying to fuel insecurity in Igbo land? Why do they want our land to be like their land? Trying to use us for them. Why do they want to turn our land to the north, like the north? If um, Tafa Beriwa can rule Nigeria, um, what is his name? Gowan rule Nigeria. Motla Mohamed, Motla Mohamed rule Nigeria. Then Shagari ruled Nigeria. What is his name again? Buhari ruled Nigeria. Babangida ruled Nigeria. Abacha ruled Nigeria. Absalami ruled Nigeria. Umaru Musaya Adwai ruled Nigeria. Then, what is his name? Buhari again ruled Nigeria. I ask, why is it that insecurity have overrun the north? Do you know how many army generals? Do you know how many army chiefs that have come from the north? Do you know how many police chiefs that have come from the north? Why is it that you think you will transfer your terrorists into the east? To establish terrorism in the east, as you have established official in, in, insecurity in the east, why do they want, why do Babangida, why do Absalami, why do the north have, why have they conspired together to establish northern terrorism in the east? Why have they decided to do so? Why are they using us for them? To establish a terrorist point of movement, they call it IDP camp. Where, when have the North started bringing good things to the East? I ask. When? What they do in Ilobanta? Have it been solved? The problem that the Northern has flanny caused in Ilobanta, have it been settled? Then why do Sodoma want to establish another one? Why do the Northern conspire to establish terrorist terrorism as they have established it in the North? Why do they want to establish it in the East? Why? Why do they want to use us on them? There is nothing like IDP camp in or him member. No, what they want to establish is terrorism. When do they not want to start? They want to train their own. You want to train displaced, train displaced person. You want to give them job. But they want to have skills. So the whole north that is overrun by poverty, you have settled their poverty. You will now go and settle their poverty in the east. So there is no safe place in the north. Then why are you trying to use your media and your Nigerian army and your Nigerian police to change the statue of the East? Why? Trying to tell the world that is insecurity in the East. Why are you now, why are you dying in silence? The North you have been overrun by its insecurity. You see how you, you see how you disgrace yourself. You are covering insecurity, and they cannot told you. As you are deploying your army to come and kill us, your land will be overrun by terrorists. So our land will not be a safe place for our killers. Our land will not be a safe place for our killers. The North is facing what they have done to our people. Hope of them should not make our land as a safe Our land cannot save the Northerners. The North have shed our blood, that is, mercilessly, in the North and in the East. Anywhere, they have been killing us. Our land cannot save them. Our land cannot accommodate them. The North, if they, are, if they want to be consumed, let them be consumed. They never have us in mind. As They have never think good for us. We will not accept them. We will not accept terrorists in the name of IDP camp in our land. We can never accept terrorists. They should leave our land. Which guy IDP camp in Mbano? Not an ass. You come and teach them. They will have skills. Is it today you start having poverty? Nigeria was created that because the North is poor. So you will now settle the poverty of the North in Imo State after 110 years. The North have been designed to be rich. Since 1914, 110 years, Nigeria North is still poor. So you want to settle the poverty of the North. So you want to train Northerners in the East to become people. So East can now contain Northerners for solving of their problem. From 1914 to 2024 is 114 years. Sorry, yes, 110 years. 110 years of Nigeria. The North is still poor. Look at, say, because the North is poor. 
Then you have used the wealth from the east. The north is still too poor. And you want to come and settle the poverty of the north in the east. The east you have been killing to take their wealth. Who told you that our God will allow it? Who told you that our God will allow it? Anybody that is bringing our killers into our land in the name of one Nigeria and the anything, the person is causing trouble for himself. We have never been in good time with the Northerners. Talk more of bringing terrorists into our land. We will not accept it. This is what we told them. Our land, our, your land will be overrun by terrorists. And before you know it, the army you sent here, if they go back, they will not see a place to stay. It's happening now. It's a prophecy. You are still holding it on the canal. You are still marching on our head. You want to bring terrorists inside our, into our land. When you are still holding it on the canal. Nigeria is looking for our trouble. Hope Zanima is looking for our trouble. All of you is keeping it on the canal. And you are sending terrorists. You say it's IDP camp. To come and kill people in the canal is in detention because of them. We will not accept it. We don't reject IDP camp. But you see IDP camp of Fulani, Northern Nigeria, who never take us as human beings, who have determined to desolate us from this land, from the face of the earth. Our land, what they are facing is a cause. Our land cannot solve their problem. They should know they are facing a punishment from God. They have, been, they have killed us enough. They have, we, our land cannot save them. Our land cannot save them. So they should cease from trying to establish insecurity of terrorism. That is northern terrorism in our land. We are facing the one they use Osadema to create so that they, he will chase away people and bring in northerners. That's why they create artificial insecurity. Killing traditional rulers. Osadema brought a bubagu, killed people in Imo State. The payback is to bring terrorists and establish a terrorist house in the state and call it IDP camp. What kind of rubbish is that? How do they generate their terrorism in the north? Is it not the same way? Is it not the same as Salami? All of them established terrorism? Is it not Babangida? Is it not Abacha? All of them are the, ins the terrorism institution. They are the, ins they are the institution of terrorism. If not, what have they given to the northerners? For six years, they are still begging. 110 years of Nigeria, northerner is dying of hunger. These are people who said will die. The East, hey, will do it like this, do it like this. Ibos will die. The North is dying. It is a punishment. Nobody can run away from it. The North must take their punishment. Food is dealing with them. Everything is on them. Terrorism have overrun them. They cannot solve their problem in the East. They cannot solve their problem in the East. They are not welcome in the East. As we are not welcome in their land. These are people who hate us. These are Nigerian state who hate us. Tell me a country where the citizens of states or a region will be protesting against the brutality of militia formed as security agency or as security outfit by the governors, but the citizens complain and there are damages, there are victims that they killed. Then people protested, the federal government ignored their protest. Then you ask yourself that, in, that there is a government in charge of that place. So the government of Nigeria will only exist when they want to bring full and men into our land. They will be debating it, creating ministry for them, right? In the House and Senate. If they want to build IDP camp, our land will be a location where they will build it. But there is no single embassy in our land. They denied us every good things. They want to start, and you tell me that they will be denying us, denying them the kind of court orders, and they will bring good things for you. Some people say it will bring development, development greater than them the kind of tell me that development. People that are killing us, the evil state is kidnapping people and killing them. They want to bring development. Is it not security first? I want to know. How can they build insecurity and they will bring development? So they want to build IDP camp as a development. One idiot to come and speak English. Who are they bringing? Are they bringing Yoruba refugees? No. They are bringing Northern refugees. Who is Northerners? How do you know not? Terrorism upon they provided 10 presidents. 10. 
46 years of rulership of Nigeria by the north. They cannot solve the problem of terrorism. Who told you that the east will accommodate them and solve their problem? They don't want to establish any IDP camp. They want to establish a full that any full any terrorist camp point of movement that is a terrorist camp official one is not accepted. Ask yourself, by the way, who is the governor on seat to establish this thing? And you ask yourself, what good thing have the governor brought to us? Opo is the originator of unknown government. Originator of unknown government, who puts them? Do you know that killings have not stopped in Imo? He's still killing. Who puts them? Was made a governor by Kekere. Kekere, now chief justice of Nigeria. Kekere, that Kekere. God will deal with that woman. This whole puts them have massacred Imo state people. He can never bring good things. Which kind of IDP camp? IPOB is asking our people to bring back their um, businesses back home. Um, you can see Zion, they brought their own to Imo, Obala. These people are bringing, the only thing they can bring is IDP camp. I ask you, how do you think about, how do you look into it? The only thing they can give us after taking away every good thing from our land is IDP camp. And who is in position? Who is in, in the gov government? Who opposes them? Then how do you expect good things from such? I don't know. I don't know what those them is doing. I don't know what they plan to do. But we will scatter those things. After all, it is our God that is punishing the north. So if you can be the problem we are facing, and our God is dealing with you. You think you can solve your problem in our land is a lie. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. This is a payback. The North will be looking for a place to live. The North. You see that you said for us? All of you will look for a place to live. All of you. You know how many places that you have provided? Go to military. Go to people that overthrow government. You pamper them. They later became civilian government. Buare. He's a Hitler. Where is he now? Terrorists over around the north. Babangida, hey, Babangida, we are president. Igbo will never rule. Where is Babangida? Terrorists over around the north. Hey, I'm Salami. Hey, he's a peacemaker. Where is he? Terrorists over around the north. Terrorists have over around the north. You supported the one to massacre us. Terrorists have over around the north. You are disobeying court order that is starting on the canal, and you think you can bring us terrorists from the north. So you can solve your problem. Let us say that these are original, eternally displaced persons. Let us just say, send them the canal will be in detention. You will not bring your victims from the north to come and keep them here. As if we are what? No, we want to know. We want to know. Right? Right? No, so you will be disobeying court order. Then you think that here is part of Nigeria. I, I want to know. I don't know how Nigerians think. So here is still part of Nigeria. No, no, for mount. Our people should campaign about uh, against this thing. We are here. We will mark them out of the field. Nothing they happen. Now we there here. We go fight them to the end. Our land must be safe. We are already dying for it. We are in detention for it. So many things we have spent money for it. We are there is we will keep doing. We will keep doing. Nigeria must collapse. People must be freed and live their life. You see that name the British established to cage people. That very name that criminals are using to run the life of innocent people. That very name they call Nigeria. That thieves are using to run the life of people when they don't care about the people. The people are on their own. They are just using the name of Nigeria. Not that they are ruling the people. Just uh, Nigeria is existing. Form out. Name of country. That's all. Does the country exist? No. People are on their own. People are ruling themselves. People are looking for what they eat. 
Just a name that group of people will use to gather. They will gather, they will using a name, a name called Nigeria that doesn't exist. They will be using it to capture people, capture people down, bring them down, destroying their, um, their, 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 their future in the name of a government. British gang of criminals, prison warders of the British, because Nigeria is a, a condemned criminal prison cell of the British. The president is like a, a um, um, controller general of prison, president of Nigeria. Controller general of prisons. The state governors are like deputy controller of general of prisons. That's what they represent to the British. Uh, they are representing the British for here. Because here is a condemned criminal. We 